hi guys welcome back to my bubble and in today's video as you can see by the title pretty obvious right i will be sharing with you 10 winter fragrances that i absolutely enjoy using for the cold weather for the winter time these fragrances are sexy bold statement makers compliment getters so if you're interested, just keep on watching. So the first fragrance that I will be sharing with you guys is none other than Michael by Michael Kors. And you guys know already, if you have watched plenty others of my fragrance videos, that this is my all-time favorite fragrance. I will forever have this in my collection. This is sexy. This is bold. This is com a compliment getter. This is a statement maker. If you want to be remembered, like, just wear this where this this oozes feminine charm and exotic warmth alluring comforting exotic warmth like this stuff is just perfect this has some notes of it has tuberose it has incense it has tamarinds it has vetiver it has some musk in there and a whole bunch of other notes this just get your nose on this when you get the chance because if you want to smell elegant like a bold confident elegant woman not girl woman you need this in your life this is a creamy tuberose gardenia type of fragrances very floral but a sexy bold floral like this is wowzers the longevity is amazing the projection is a1 and you just need this in your life this is something that i will forever have in my collection every time i smell it i just think of happy times holidays many dates <laughs> and just overall happy happy times um i would say you can wear this year round but if you're going to wear it during the summertime i would suggest the nighttime i don't think this would do too good during the heat because it's that potent you don't want to choke um but yes definitely summer date nights would be perfect fall perfect winter excellent i wouldn't wear this for work because it's a you know more of a going out type of scent but it is so so good i love this and it is michael by michael kors next one is dior addict and this fragrance is white florals and vanilla yeah white florals and vanilla but this is a grown-up vanilla this isn't a little girl fruity vanilla it's a grown woman money <laughs> type of vanilla i also get i don't know if it's this because i have heard that it has been like reformulated but this gives me like a dusty vibe, like a dusty old attic vibe. But nonetheless, it's really, really good. Very sexy, very sophisticated, definitely unisex. Like I can see a man wearing this and liking it too. This is elegant. This is boss woman, top tier type of woman type of scent. <laughs> Oh yeah period next up i have the sexy ass shoe like you feel me and this is carolina herrera gold edition good girl gold edition this is nuts in a shoe you guys this is very sexy this is very nutty this is definitely a date night type of fragrance perfect for the winter time perfect for the cooler months I wouldn't really wear this during the summertime, would I? Mm -mm. It's just too nutty, at least for me. You can wear fragrances whenever you want, sister. But for me, I wouldn't wear it in the summertime. I feel like this would perform way better in the fall and the winter time. And this shoe, honey, look at that. It is ideal for gifting, perfect perfect christmas gift it's a perfect sexy date night fragrance this is vanillic it's a little smoky it's very close to the original good girl but it has more vanilla and less masculine than the original good girl 
I really enjoy this one. It's not my all-time favorite, you know. Like, I really have to be in the mood to wear this. But I like it. I like it. And that shoe, honey. Honey, it sits beautifully on my perfume tray. So, next up is this baby right here, which is relatively new to my collection. I got it a couple weeks ago. And I love it. This is so freaking good this is a smoky toasted nuttiness on a floral background it gives me fall autumn fall vibes but it definitely has this sexy quality to it that just makes it perfect for the cold winter date nights you guys and i really really love this one and it is on mark jacobs perfect intense look how cute that bottle is so much detail i love it so next up we have a baby of mine it is a zaro's wanted girl this is a very sexy gourmand feminine perfume mm, i get a lot of the dulce de leche mixed with the ginger and orange blossom in this fragrance it is so good you guys this will leave an amazing trail scent and you will definitely, definitely get so many compliments. Like every time I wear this, I get all the compliments in the world from men and women. And it's just, this is like a, it's a baby maker. Like, oh my God. Sweet, sexy, spicy, and a little gourmand. It's perfect. Perfect for the winter time. Perfect for those sexy date nights. It's just so good. Next up is another of my all-time favorites and it is none other than burberry body this packaging is so sleek and elegant and classy i absolutely love this fragrance a lot of people say that this is soapy and fresh and perfect for spring and summer not i i don't think so i think this is perfect for those cold winter nights and even for the fall as well but this just reminds me of like a cabin in the woods like you know those sexy cabins in the woods when you're about to just when you're going on a little mini getaway with your boo or whatever your husband your man or whatever and you're just getting away and you're looking all badass like a fucking couple's wife and shit and you smell like this and you're about to you know get it on in that cabin in the woods because it is woodsy i get like a peachy vanilla rose in this fragrance it is just so good this is my sex in a bottle type of fragrance i love it i will forever have it in my collection it's elegant it's sexy it's classy this reminds me of someone's badass wealthy aunt mm. burberry body baby that's right <laughs> next up i have one that i don't think i've ever spoken about on my channel but I'm about to do so right now and this is seductive noir by guess you guys this thing is amazing i wow when i first smelled this i was super duper impressed and to think that i only paid no more than 25 dollars like i kid you not i did not spend over 25 dollars on this fragrance this is very sexy and intoxicating to me. It is grown, but not old. Wow, this is creamy, this is sexy, this is bold. It smells thick, rich, decadent, sexy, elegant. The name Noir suits it perfectly. It's very fitting, very dark and seductive. That's what this is. You guys, if you haven't done so already, get your nose on this and get it because it is definitely, definitely worth it. And that is Seductive Noir by Gus. Next up, I have Agent Provocateur's Fatal Intense. This fragrance, you guys. This one reminds me of Rebel by Rihanna, the red bottle. But this one is just more intense. Now, the packaging the bottle is gorgeous like it's like a ruby pearl like very very pretty bottle now the scent itself it's sexy it's spicy it's bold like that is this is an only 
wintertime fragrance like this is not something you wear during the summertime because if you do you will choke <laughs> that's how potent this is um and this is another one at least for me that i have to be in the mood for like this isn't something you wear all the time like this is something you need to be in the mood for this is sexy this is dark this is spicy this is slutty but yummy like yeah, this just smells like like no good it's chocolatey it's real strong and spicy like it really reminds me of rebel but rebel is a bit more toned down and it's a little bit more powderier than this one i don't know this is something that you wear when you're going on a secret date when like it's a date with mr vampire when you know you're about to do some dirt slutty but yummy yeah <laughs> that's this type of fragrance it's not something i reach for every day as i said and i definitely need to be in the mood for it as you can see i've barely 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 ever used it but it's a very it's, it's a lot of people compare this to angel by thierry mugler and i don't know a lot of people don't like angel some people do but i don't know just just get a whiff of this and you'll be the judge. This smells like a boss lady. A boss lady with a with an unusual job. Not an office job. So the next two fragrances that I will share with you guys are two celebrity fragrances. Um, and the first one is Rogue by Rihanna. Now this is definitely unique. This is very unique, 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 unique. This is sexy. This is a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit boozy. But definitely, definitely very sexy, bold. You know, you will get compliments on this. Definitely a statement maker. I feel like Rihanna would wear this during the fall and winter time with a black leather jacket. You know, her badass, sexy, tall self. Well, she's tall to me because I'm only 4'11", but I don't know how tall she really is. Um, with the red bow lipstick like this, you know, looking all good. In all her glory and whatever. And if you hear my babies, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. But anyways, this is boozy. This is leathery. It has a leather note in here that you definitely, definitely get. It's sparkling, kind of like a soda. A lot of people say that it reminds me, it reminds them of Dr. Pepper. I can see, I, I can see it, I can see how. But this is definitely, oof. This is a badass, smoky, boozy, fruity type of leather fragrance here. And that's Rogue by Rihanna. And last but not least, I have Adam Levine's I still don't know what the name of this perfume is. Is it woman? Is it Adam Levine? Adam Levine? Is it just Adam Levine? Woman. Yep. <laughs> Adam Levine's woman. Now, this, you guys, is so heavy. This is a thick, heavy, syrupy type of fragrance. Super, super, super heavy on the sandalwood. So if you don't like sandalwood, this is not for you. Very syrupy, very thick. I said that already. Very sweet. That thickness and syrupiness of it. I guess it's the benzoin in this fragrance. But it is very good. It's definitely very good for the winter time. Now, I do feel like it's a bit linear. Like, it needs a little pickup. Like, I don't know. Just a little a little something else in there. Because, honestly, all I get is sandalwood. It's very sandalwood heavy. I get a lot of the benzoin and the spices in here. But it's very soft, smooth and creamy but you could definitely add something else in here just to give it more of a oomph you know like i would definitely pair this with aqualina pink sugar like i feel like that would give it a pop like that sugary burst of happiness in the pink sugar that's that's what this needs but nonetheless it's pretty it's a pretty good fragrance for the winter time for the winter time winter time only because don't even think about applying this on a hot day and a man can definitely get away with wearing this fragrance because it is definitely unisex and it's a goodie it's a very cheap one and a really good one too i think i got this for 10 bucks you guys yeah it's it's nice it's nice and that's adam levine's woman 
all right you guys so that concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below what are your favorite winter fragrances what do you like to wear for the cooler months for the colder weather what do you like what are your suggestions what are your recommendations comment down below help a sister out i do want to try new fragrances i do want to get my hands on new ones so yeah comment down below and let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one bye all right you guys so that concludes this video i just shared 10 of my top one